So Must Have Been the Roses is pretty much one of the simplest songs in terms of the chords. And it's got this, you know, A, E, D, A, E, 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 D, A. So it's a very, very straightforward song in terms of the, the chordage. But um, what I love is this intro. It has this. So um, that the, the whole beginning part is all just with open E's and hitting a single note. So you can do it with one finger. So it starts off with a double open. And then five. Seven, and then you slide that seven into the nine. So it's like this. And you can really, you know, let that ring. And then, and then it goes off again. Seven, nine, ten, nine, seven. And then has this four, five. So it's four, five, four, five. Now then it drops down to the, the second string for the slide from the five to seven. And then five, three, two. That's sort of the end of the melodic thing. And then it starts to walk up on the third string into the song, which is the one, one, two, two, four, two, four. So it's one, one, two, two, four, two, four. So the whole intro riff again is it's open, five, open, open, five, open, seven, and then slide to the nine. So it's... about this little riff is, is you're not hitting the full D, you're just getting that one D note. Right? So you're going open and then so it starts on the second string, pull off and then third, fourth string. That's for the riff. Leave it there. 
but that intro thing can add, add as a work as the outro too. It's just not quite the whole thing. It doesn't the walk up back in, but just as that whole. Mm -hmm. 